Hello friends, welcome to my new video and the topic is structure of skeletal muscle. Structurally, the skeletal muscle that consists of a large number of the muscle fiber and connective tissue and in this figure you see that skeletal muscle that consists of a large number of the muscle fibers and each muscle fiber that is surrounded by a delicate connective tissue sheath and that is known as endomysium and this one is endomysium and which contains a large quantity of the elastic tissue arranged longitudinally. The muscle fibers that are grouped into a number of the bundles called fasciculi and each fasciculus is surrounded by a stronger sheath of connective tissue that is known as perimysium. So this is a endomysium and this one is perimysium and last one that is a epimysium. So all the fasciculi collectively form the muscle belly and the connective tissue that surrounds the entire muscle belly. This is a muscle belly and outer covering that is epimysium. At the junction of the muscle with its tendon, the fibers of the endomysium, perimysium and epimysium that become continuous with the fibers of the tendon. Tendon are fibrous terminal end of the muscle made up of collagen fibers. So this one is a tendon and that are a terminal end of the muscle and that is made up of collagen fibers. So these are muscle fibers. These all red dot like structure that are a muscle fiber or muscle cell and many muscle fibers that form fascicle and that is wrapped up by perimysium so this one is a perimysium and this one is epimysium outer covering of the muscle fiber that is a epimysium and endomysium that covers the muscle fiber okay and tendon is in turn attached to the bone Tendon of some muscle is thin, flat and stretched but tough and such type of the tendon is known as aponeurosis. So this is a aponeurosis and this one is tendon. So strong, thin and flat sheet of the fibrous tissue providing attachment to the muscle. Structure of the muscle fiber. Now each muscle fiber is basically a long cylindrical and multinucleated cell and its cell membrane is known as sarcolemma. So this is a sarcolemma and cytoplasm is known as sarcoplasm. This is a myofibril and this cross lines are seen that is known as striation and this is a sarcomere. Now like the any other cells in the sarcoplasm are embedded many structures like nuclei, Golgi apparatus, mitochondria, sarcoplasmic reticulum, ribosome and glycosan and occasionally there is a lipid droplets are also present. Each muscle fiber has got one or more nuclei and in long muscle fibers many nuclei are present and nuclei are oval or elongated and situated just beneath the sarcolemma. You can see here this is a layer that is seen that is known as sarcolemma and this one is a nucleus, elongated nuclei. And usually in other cells the nucleus is in the interior of the cell. And all the organelles of the muscle fiber have a same function as that on another cells. Now in addition, the sarcoplasm mainly contains a number of the myofibril which form the main structure of a muscle fiber. And the sarcolemma along with the sarcoplasmic reticulum form the 
system that is known as sacrotubular system and which will be described in detail in my upcoming video later on then myofibril each muscle fiber consists of a large number of the myofibril which are arranged parallel to each other and run along the entire length of the muscle fiber so in this figure you can see here there is a large number of the myofibrils and they are arranged parallel to each other and run along the entire length of the muscle fiber now in some muscle fiber some of the myofibrils are arranged in groups called cohenheim's area or field so this one is a cohenheim's field each myofibril consists of many thick and thin filaments otherwise it is also known as myofilaments made up of number of the contractile proteins like actin myosin troponin tropomyosin these all are muscle proteins present in the muscle fiber thick filaments are made up of myosin and there are about 1500 while the thin filaments are made up of actin and about 3000 in number in each myofibril so this is a thin filament and that is made up of actin molecule and thick filament that is a myosin made up of a myosin molecules then microscopic structure of a myofibril so light microscopic study so that each myofibril consists of a number of the two alternating bands which are also known as called section segment or disc these bands are formed by muscle proteins and the two bands are light band or i band dark band or a band Peculiar arrangement of these myofilaments when seen under a light microscope gives an appearance of the alternate dark and light band or striation. So striation of the muscle fibers. So the dark and light band that result from a difference in the refractive index of its different parts. Muscle fibers have a different parts, and all the these different parts have a different refractive index. So, light band. It is also known as I band or isotropic band because it is isotropic to polarized light. When polarized light is passed through the muscle fiber at this area, the light rays are refracted at the same angle. Then, dark band. dark band is also known as a or an isotropic band because it is an isotropic to the polarized light when the polarized light is passed through the muscle fiber at this area the light rays are refracted at different direction not same direction but different direction n means not iso means it and trops means turning dark band is also known as q disc and square scape means cross disc in an intact muscle fiber i band and a band of the adjacent myofibrils are placed side by side and it gives the appearance of the characteristic cross striation in the muscle fiber i band is divided into two portion by means of a narrow and dark line that is known as z line the german word uh, german word zwischenscape matlab means between disc the z line is formed by a protein disc which does not permit the passage of light and the portion of the myofibril in between the two z line is known as sarcomere thank you